Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Shalom. All right, so um, I saw another article that a brother put up from uh, GMS Atlanta. I believe his page is GMS Babylon is falling. Um, great millstone, Salaki, a great millstone, Babylon is falling. Uh, and so I, I decided like, hey, let me go look up into this a little bit more. So this is an update that the brother put up on a new Mark of the Beast um, scenario, right? And so I wanted to see if I could find the footage live. But first I stumbled across this on CNBC, all right, which is a major news network, Okay. And his was on, like, I believe some a foreign, uh, a huge, like a, a not well-known uh, news website. You know, at least I, at the time, you know, that's what I thought. So I'm not really, really sure what the article was, what, what company it was that he brought out. But nonetheless, this says a man volunteered to have a chip inserted under his skin live on stage at a trade show this week. All right. And this is posted 16 hours ago. Um, today is. Uh, February 20, February 26th, all right, February 26th, uh, 2019, year of Caragua. So this is posted 16 hours ago, all right? It says Edgar Pons, that's funny because you were pawn. Edgar Pons said he decided to have the radio frequency identification RFID chip implanted because it contained credentials to open the door to his house. So this man just sold his soul because he could open the door to his house. And when you see the video, you're going to see, like, this is a buffoon. Even though he, you know, just because a brother, a man has a foreign language or an accent, do not mistake him for an idiot. That's what a lot of people like to do. All right. You think because he can't speak English clearly that he might be an idiot. He might just not be able to convey his words perfectly to you. But the man might be a genius. But I'm not calling him an idiot because of his accent. I'm calling him an idiot because he took the mark of the beast. Okay, especially if it's to open the door to his house. All right, it says, during the presentation, a man who had already been fitted with the chip made a payment by placing his smartphone over his skin, covering the chip. All right, um, people walked by a 5G stand on the Mobile World Congress, world's biggest mobile fair on February 26, 2018 in Barcelona. So this is taking Barcelona, taking place in Barcelona, and they got the five G stand. You know, the they they're making the Earth's microwave. You know, they're having this big mobile fair. You know, but that means they're pushing forth this technology, man. The the R the five G and the RFID chip. They're pushing this at the the world's biggest mobile fair, and they talk about they show a plant a, a implant, man. What do you think is going to happen after this? When people are like, oh, that's cool technology, and they had a man do it as a presentation. OK, no longer robots, nothing like that. They're using people as their presentations. OK, and this is all prophesied in the Bible. It says a man volunteered to have a chip inserted under his skin live on stage at a trade fair in Barcelona on Monday. And another man who had already undergone the procedure showed off how he could make a payment with this with the using his iPhone. So so and they don't even show the separation between the two men. But nonetheless, they mean they had a, I didn't get to find a whole video clip, but it's a short enough video clip to see all of this taking place. And so it said he showed up and paid a payment with using his smartphone. Uh, so they had two men up there, one guy who had it and one guy who newly got it, making you see how cool it is. OK, and this is the guy's answer. It says it is super for me. Very useful because I have an automatic house. He said, adding he was further motivated by the fact he could withdraw it very easily, simply making a little cut and pressing it. But you can't withdraw it, man. All right. You can't withdraw it. It's over. OK, because you can't re withdraw your judgment. All right. So first, I'm going to get Revelation 13 and 16. Y'all know I got to get that. And then. um, Lord willing, I'll be able to show this video. OK, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, um, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. All right. That mark is talking about the RFID chip. Okay. 
that mark is a incision in the flesh to be cut into the flesh. Okay. And we are Karagma. They they push this forward at the biggest mobile fair. Okay. And then people are going to put it on all over their bodies. Okay. All people are going to, it's going to become a mandatory at a point at a point. And then no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So that the mark of the beast, you know, that's, that's their RFID chip, man. And so, so no man might be able to buy or nor, nor sell. So he's, he's going to be able to purchase all the food that he needs and things like that, man. You're going to have to have that mark, you know? Okay. Um, so with, uh, let me, all right, let's get the video now, because I know that's what brother's been waiting to see, and when this is from another article, that uh, this is pressforum.info.com, all right, um, and this is Reuters reporting, it's another major news uh, corporation, all right, so this is Sabadell Startup. See, done. They try to make it seem like it's like it was a simple thing to do that. But see, the dude, this is the point I wanted to get. The guy said that if you want to take it out, you can just do a little cut and press and take it out. But the thing is, once you take it, no matter if you take it out or not, you have been marked by the uh, this society, by the beast, you know? Okay, so... You, you, can, you can take it out all you want to, but the Heavenly Father has now condemned you. All right, this is Revelation 14 and 9 through 10. I'll start through 11, go through 11. And the, the third angel followed them, saying, With a loud voice, if any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. So this says, if you receive it, you're going to drink the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is uh, those thermonuclear destruction, those missiles, man. You know, and know his plagues that he's about to send upon the earth, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. And he should, it, angers the, it angers the Heavenly Father to see people taking his mark, man. You know, because they're not seeking after the mark of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. That fire and brimstone are going to be those missiles, man. All right. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. All right. So that that is going to be straight condemnation for you. Straight judgment poured out upon you for taking this mark, man. So this lets you know that they're popularizing this and they're making this OK uh, amongst amongst the world. If they brought it out at the, the biggest mobile fair, man. OK. They brought this out at the biggest mobile fair, and they'll make you think that this is okay, that this is all right. Okay, but Esau is going to use people to push this forward, man. You know, and they like it's. And why did this happen? Through the spirit and power, you how about Shemuel Shah first and foremost, but it's also 2019 year of Karagma, so they had to make this take place due to prophecy. All right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai.
by Shamra Kahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David the elect. Shalom.